you know, we see already that volumes are coming back. Um, and of course, you know, we are benefiting from uh, the amazing uh, e-commerce surge in our global footprint as much as our, our broad portfolio. And, and that is visible in, in, in the very good Q2 numbers. And we have seen after China came back that Euro is now coming back and we see first signs of recovery as well in the America. So that makes us confident that that we are heading and the world is heading in the right direction. Uh, let me ask you about the speed of the recovery, because you're clearly also making your outlook contingent on the fact that we get a dynamic recovery. How likely is that on what needs to be uh, need, needs to happen? Yeah, so, so why we are giving uh, different scenarios for 2022 um, is because we don't know yet. It's very much dependent on how contained the COVID uh, pandemic stays. If we really keep it under control and we don't have a big second breakout or continuous lockdowns in different countries, then uh, we are pretty optimistic that we will see a V-shaped recovery. If uh, things are coming back again and again, you know, then we probably see more hue. And if we really have a massive breakout with a complete lockdown of the planet again, then it might lead to a longer term recession. And, and that is what we anticipate at the moment as different scenarios. You know, you know I'm an optimist. Um, I, I think it's important that we all follow the instructions of the government to wear masks and keep social distancing. Uh, using, if you have uh, that available in your country, the tracing apps. Uh, I think that's the best protection we can do. And if that happens, I think then we will see, you know, uh, a, a good recovery on a on a global base. Let's talk about trade. How do you see that developing during the second half of this year? Because clearly you talk to so many clients and to so many industry. Um, what do you think about that development? Yeah, so what you can see already now is that countries and companies who have a, a more global footprint or more open to a global, you know, the global network uh, will go better through the crisis. Uh, you know, this cust these customers who have a global footprint are more stable than they are just depending on one market or producing just in one country. So globalization is stabilizing that. The same you will see for the countries, the countries which are the most connected ones will definitely recover faster from the crisis uh, than the countries who are just, you know, a little or, or less connected. And 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 I, I think global trade will recover. Um, you know, we see that already at the moment, of course, very much driven as well by e-commerce, but we also see the start of that B2B volumes are coming back.